Looks like Hugo's got the clan. Yow! That thieving dolphin just stole it. If the penguins can't get the clan back, this race is over. Dashy, it's not over yet. Those penguin wings are as good as fins underwater. Look how fast they're swimming. Like a couple of dolphins they are. Hey, dolphin! Drop that clam, please. What? Huh? Oh, we have a new twist, folks. The dolphins dropped the clam, but now a whale's got it. Yeah. Peso's got it. Oh, now Hugo's got it. Now they both got it. Give me that. It's mine. No, it's mine. I got it first. And I've got it last. <laughs> Whoa. This race is taking the Iron Clam to new heights. <laughs> I had it first. Three on! Whoa! Wait, now an albatross has got the clam and is flying off with Peso and Hugo! Now there's a bird that can fly! But Peso and Hugo can't. We need to stay with them. Let go! No, you let go! Yeah, how about you both let go? You two are getting heavy! Drop it! You drop it! How about I drop it, huh? Oh! Quasi, get ready. Steady as she goes. Now, activate airbags. Thanks, Captain. And they're off. We'll catch up with you, Peso. Yeah, got it. Ooh, oh. No, I've got it. What? Find us keepers. Tentacles off, Squido. It's mine. Drop it, Hugo, before you get hurt. I'm not falling for your tricks. Mine, 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 mine. After that clam. There they are. Looks like everybody wants that clam, but this race is just for penguins. Peso's looking strong, but Hugo's pulling ahead. Hugo, Hugo, of you we sing. You're so good at everything! Oh, I'm sure there must be something I'm not good at. Excuse me. Huh? Yeah. And Peso takes the clam! And the winner of the diving event is... Peso! do it. I've been beaten? That's never happened. Hey so, hey so, of you we sing. You might even win this thing. I might even win? I might even win. Ladies and gentle fish, for the first time in years, we have a tie. Each penguin has won one round. So, it all comes down to the third and final event. Please, take your places. Event number three, swimming. The racers will swim from one end of the trench to the other. The iron clam is waiting at the finish line. Whoever reaches it first wins the event, the race, and the iron clam. Let the countdown begin! Five, four, three, two, one, go! Hugo pulls out ahead of Peso. Come on, Peso. You can do it. Oh, don't let him get ahead oh, of you. Go for it, Peso. You got lucky last round, but not this time, Peso. yo -ho! Hey, hey, hey! Go, go! Uh-oh. Look out! Oh no! There's been a terrible accident! Quasi, let's move in as close as we can and get them out of there. Aye aye, Captain! Luckily, Peso and Hugo can hold their breath for a long time. Oh, Peso! Oh. Uh, 
Where is he? Is he okay? Uh, uh. Hugo, you've hurt your flipper, but I don't think it's broken. This seaweed bandage should make you feel better. Ah, it does. But how are we going to get out of here and finish the race? Good question. I'm just afraid that if we try to move one ice block, the rest will fall on top of us. We've got to get them out of there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Peso and Hugo are trapped under big chunks of ice. We need Gup C and D to rescue them. Come as quickly as you can. I want to come too. I have to save my brother. Sorry, Pinto, but this job is just too dangerous. You can help by staying here with your mum and looking after her. Come along, Pinto. <sighs> Astronauts, this is going to be a very tricky operation. We need to carefully remove the chunks of ice one by one, so the whole pile doesn't fall on Peso and Hugo. Tweak, you can start with that one. You got it, Pia. Don't worry, the Octonauts will get us out of here. Sorry, Camp, but this chunk of ice is too big for me to get a hold of it. Then we'll use the cup C. Take it slowly, Shellington. Aye, aye, sir. Last one. Easy now. Hugo, are you all right? We're okay, just a little cramped. Pinto, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Captain. I was just trying to help, but I've made it even worse. Aye, matey. The ice chunk is wedged tighter than before, and now we've got no rope to pull it with. Did you hear that? How are they going to haul the ice chunk away without rope? Good question. Wait a minute. That's it. Captain! I have an idea! Octonauts, we're going to use these seaweed ropes to lift off the ice chunk. When I give the command, we're all going to pull together. Pinto, we could use your help. Really? We need somebody to pilot the Gup B. Aye, aye, Captain! Ready? Pull! Come on. You can do it, Pinto. You did it! Thanks, Captain. Yes. Thanks for rescuing us, Octonauts. Let's get back to the race. Let the Iron Clan continue! You shouldn't be swimming, Hugo. You're injured. No pain, no gain. I'm a winner, not a quitter. Why are you swimming with me? Why don't you go on ahead and grab the clam? That's what I would do. Because there are more important things than winning. Like what? Like making sure you're all right. I don't understand you at all. Yeah! Ah. 
Go on, Peso. What are you waiting for? I can't leave you here. And I know how much winning means to you. So... Hey! What are you doing? This is incredible! Peso is carrying Hugo... ...across the finish line! For the first time in the history of the Iron Clam, we have... a tie! I must admit, folks, I don't know what to do. Who gets the clam? Definitely give it to Peso. He deserves it. Oh, that's all right. Hugo wants to win more than I do. Allow me. There. A big cheer for the winners! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! I'm so proud of you, Peso. You won the contest and you saved Hugo. My son, the hero! <laughs> oh, Mom. <laughs> Getting to safety? No, I'm moving. Should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Ooh. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? All I heard was daddy, 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 mate. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said, I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry. And Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Looks just like a mother. Go. Here, get this one. Last one. Find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jawfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. Okay. The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker. The current has travelled along these cliffs, over these geysers, and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. <laughs> yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. <laughs> Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg backs! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Peso, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Mm, these are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. 
Oh, a cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Well, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. That banter ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Flippers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Let's get you back to your dad. You found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. <laughs> oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. <laughs> I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! Say, ah. Uh... Tunip, did you find one this time? <laughs> oh, no, that's a seashell. <laughs> Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa, so it might get tricky. Hey, almost close. Whoa, nearly. Whoa, bingo. Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, Nine down, still one to go. It's Jimmy Junior, named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Dashy, come in. Yes, Captain. We've searched the cliffs, the geezers, and the trench, but there's still one egg missing. His name is Jimmy Junior. The last egg could still be caught up in the current, which has moved past the rocky trench and is heading into open water. Thanks, Dashy. Quasi, Peso, if we don't find that egg soon, it could be lost for good. Let's move. Jimmy Junior, up ahead. Activate egg vax. Strong for the egg vax. We'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Hold this. Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. Now I've got you. Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. <laughs> Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Hey, sir, take Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Snack time, man. Enjoy! 
Quasi, what do you do? Don't worry, Jimmy Jr. is safe and sound. Phew. Hey, it's empty. Let's get him. See you later, shockies. We proudly return with the one and only Jimmy Jr. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. 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 I, I had him in my paw. I, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. <laughs> That's a clam. <laughs> That's an egg. <laughs> That's an egg. Junip, you found Jimmy Jr. Who's <laughs> Ah, we found all ten. Great job, Octon. Shellington, what did he say? He said, my eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah. You're a little daredevil, aren't you? Thanks, Jimmy Jr. A chip off the old block. Wow, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> All done. Fit as a fiddle fish. Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby. Because, well, I'm a crab and my shell hurts. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X-ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Aha! Uh -huh. You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? Better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. What's that? A young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello, are you all right? My name is. Don't hurt me. Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Get, get, get away! But I. Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. <laughs> Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 orca! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if. Hey, so? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashy, send me a picture of a. Orca? Already on it, Captain? Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. 
Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking, I can do it. But I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep. And dark. And scary. But that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. Did I say something wrong? You know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Hey, so. Penguins have to learn to dive, too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Just a little deeper and we'll find the rest of your pod. I can do it. I can do it. I oh, can't do it! Let's try it backwards. It's not so scary this way, is it? I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it! This may take a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> you see, you can do it. Yes, I can do it. I can do it. I... <gasps> Um, excuse me, Mr. Clam. Would you mind opening your mouth? I can do it. I can do it. Oh, who am I fooling? Oh. Yeah. Help! Hey, so a giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea. <gasps> Simon, will you dive down to help us? I... I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. <gasps> Peso's medical bag. Look, the clam. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clowns. Shiver me whiskers! We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This day is for Peso. Clam, clam, peso, clam, clam, peso. Quasi. Are you all right, peso? Well, it's getting a bit cozy. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. It's too heavy. We need a... Whale. What? Simon. Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save... Peso! Hey, look, it's Simon. 
Out of my way! I've got you, Peso! But how do we get it open? Hmm. Don't worry. We've dealt with giant clams before. Ready, Quasi? Aye, Captain. Ready. Ready, Peso? Ready. All right. When I give the command, tickle, pull, leap. Tickle. That's it. Now, pull. <laughs> leap. <laughs> Phew. Hooray! Good job, everyone. Especially you, Simon. Thanks for helping to save me. No problem. Hey, who wants to go back down? We should put the giant clam back where we found him. Oh, I can do it! <laughs> Come on, everyone! Follow me! Hey, wait for me! He can do it! He can do it! He did it! Coming up to the trench, Captain. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. That must be it. It looks really deep. Let's find a safe place to set the ship down near the trench. Prepare to land. Shiver, whiskers. The sea floor's all pink and wiggly looking. Dashy, pull up. Now. I'm on it, Captain. We'll have to find another place to land. That looks like a good spot. Captain, I noticed we changed course. Is everything all right? I don't know, Shellington. What do you make of that? Fascinating, Captain. Those are sea pigs. Sea pigs? Yes. Sea pigs are creatures that live in the deep ocean, but they don't swim. They walk around on the seafloor with little legs. And it looks like they're walking straight towards the trench. That's not good. If they fall in, they won't be able to swim out. That's a long way to fall, matey. That's not the only problem. Sea pigs eat bits of food that drift down from the surface of the ocean, and hardly any of it gets down that far. Aye, so they'd be stuck and hungry. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, a large herd of sea pigs is heading towards the trench. We have to stop them before they fall in. We'll need guffs A, B, C, D, and E. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Attention, sea pigs. You must turn around. You're walking straight towards... Oh, food! Yum, yum, yummy food! No! It's a very deep trench. If you continue on your course, you will... Food! No! Please, listen to me. The trench is really deep, and there's no food for you down there. Food! Food, you say? Yummy, smelly food. Of course! That's it! Captain! I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! There's no food down there. <laughs> This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. <laughs> It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Uh, 
But there's no way we can get this slop over to the Sea Pigs in time. Unless... Octonauts, stay here and load this into the Gups as quickly as you can. In the meantime, I think there might be a way to distract them. Yes, I know it smells, but we need to make something even smellier. Can you use this to cook an extra smelly feast for a huge herd of hungry sea pigs? And fast! I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <gasps> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. Flappity <laughs> <laughs> flippers, they're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Super, Chubble. Uh-oh. Uh hey, sir, the Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Peso. Let's hope that guff of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. Oh, oh. has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. <laughs> Sign of Tunip and the glider. No, Captain. They they disappeared. Request backup. We need more than backup, Quasi. We need a plan. Food. And I think I might just have one. It's 
no good. Tunip could be anywhere. That's why we're going to sniff him out. All right, little sea piggy. Food. Find food. Oh, food. Mmm, smell food. Over there. Wee. Captain, what? There was still some of the sea kelp cake left on top of the glider. Our friend there is sniffing it out. Look there. It looks like... <laughs> Hello! Tunip! Super! Super! Yummy, yummy, yummy! You did it! Hooray! Well done, guys! Thanks for your help. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Ooh, food! More food! <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> they sure do like that smelly stuff. Which is more than can be said for poor Tunip. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at these anemones, Peso. They're so colourful. Each one looks like a flower or a, a monster. Ah! Oh, it's not a monster. That's an elephant seal. A very large seal with a great big nose. Like an elephant. Is he snoring? Hmm. Elephant seals sometimes do sleep in the water. I think something's wrong with his skin. He's molting, losing his old skin so a new layer can grow in. See? Does that hurt him? <laughs> Not at all. Molting is perfectly normal for an elephant seal. It's the same as when you grow too big for your clothes and need new ones that fit better. But elephant seals are supposed to molt on the beach where it's warm. Malting in the cold water will make him ill. Oh no, he's nowhere near a beach. Shellington, we have to help him. Captain, we have an elephant seal emergency. We need to bring him to the octopod. And he's really huge. <coughs> and loud. We have to move him, but he'll never fit into the guppy. Hold tight, we're on our way. Sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the launch bay. Tweak, we need to tow an elephant seal to the octopod right away. The Gupsy's ready to go, Cap, and I've added an extra strong tow line. Good thinking. Quasi, you're with me. Yow! <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Shiver me whiskers. He is huge. Let's get him to safety. We've got him, Peso. Let's go. Through this door. He does it. There you go. He's okay. But boy, does he snore. <gasps> Peso, how's your patient? His temperature is perfect. As soon as he regrows his skin and hair, he'll be as good as new, Captain. <coughs> He's awake. Where am I? You were molting in the water. We didn't want you to get poorly, so we brought you back to our ship, the Octopod. Ooh, thanks for helping me. The name's Leon. Can't wait to get to the beach and see my friends and 
family and the... Uh, oh. <clears throat> I don't think you're ready to move yet, Leon. Where is your beach? We'd be happy to take you there. Well, it's a beach, uh, uh, with lots of molting elephant seals like me on it, and... Uh, oh boy, molting makes me really, really, really tired. He needs to rest while he finishes growing his new skin, Captain. In the meantime, we'll look for a beach with elephant seals on it. Activating Octoscope. No elephant seals on this beach. been searching for Leon's beach for days. We'll just have to try again tomorrow. Now, let's get some sleep. Looking good. Check out my nice new skin and fur. You've finished all your molting. Congratulations. Chest bump! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to knock you over with that. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. I'm just excited to get to the beach and play with all the other elephant seals. Well, I'm afraid we haven't found your beach quite yet. You haven't? But this is a special time when all of us wake up and play games. And I'm missing out on all the fun. Don't worry, we'll find your beach. And while we're looking, we can have fun here on the Octopod too. We can? Can we play some elephant seal games? You know, like we do on the beach? I'd love to. I'll show you the games room in the morning. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite games, wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, elephant seals love to wrestle. Flipper to flipper? Okay, flipper to flipper. Whoa. Okay, uh, we'll make it two flippers against one. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Phew. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes I forget how strong I am. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. But maybe we should try a different game. Hmm. How about a race? You're on. To the hallway. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a head start. Thanks. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Not to worry, I'm fine. Leon! Oh, go! Quasi, on the beach, elephant seals. And not a moment too soon, eh, Captain? Are you okay? I'm great. This is even more fun than the beach. Let's do it again. Attention, <laughs> Octonauts. We have found a beach full of elephant seals. To the launch bay. Just pump. <gasps> to the launch bay. Leon, aren't you coming? 
Uh, sure, I suppose. Peso, into the gut. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Wait a second. I'm having so much fun here with you, I don't want to leave now. Sorry, Leon, the octopod's just not big enough for an elephant seal. And the other elephant seals must miss you. But I'll miss you guys. How about if we race you to the beach? A race? You're on! <laughs> Fast. Elephant seals are strong swimmers. Uh, I win the race! Yeah! Hey, Leon! You found us! <laughs> we were so worried about you. Come on, let's play! <laughs> See, they really missed you. Well, I never would have made it here if you hadn't rescued me. Chest bump? Uh, how about a hug this time? Oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Say, ah. Uh... Looks good. Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? <laughs> Two. That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag! Oh no! I've got to find it! Aha! Hmm. Just a clam. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> a walrus! He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... Uh, oh, hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken. <gasps> By a walrus? Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. 
Uh, easy now. We just want to. All right, back off. Move on. Oh, move on. Well, well, uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Think Tweak's costume will fool them? If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three. <gasps> <gasps> now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. Phew! You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. Phew, that's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, oh, hey, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumpy jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean the, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful! Quasi, try to get back into position! Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting on my. Intruders! Oh! Run! Captain, come in! What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time! <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean, that strange white clam? That's it. My medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief. But that bag belongs to my friend Peso. 
You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? <gasps> oh no, his flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. <laughs> if it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you could do anything for me? Hmm, one twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right, here. <laughs> There, good as new. Hey, thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will, and you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? We have some amazing photos of Antarctic sea life, thanks to the new cameras on the gaps, Captain. Excellent, Dashi. And who knows what else we might find today? Monsters in the ocean! Swim for your lives! Monsters? Three of them at least! The one I saw was just a giant head with teeth! The one I saw was a giant squirmy sea serpent! The one I saw, I couldn't even see the whole thing! That's how huge it was! And where exactly did you spy these hideous creatures of the deep? Close by! Gotta keep moving! We don't want to run into those monsters again! <laughs> Monsters! Peso, Quasi, let's investigate. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. And make sure your gup cams are turned off. just saw what appears to be a big-headed monster, exactly like the one described by the first dolphin. <gasps> I just saw the sea serpent monster the other dolphin saw. Ah, just me luck. I haven't seen hide no fin of anything monstrous. But I do now. It's the big one, mateys, and she's coming right at me. Shiver me whiskers. Let's see what the photos from the gub cans can tell us. That's the monster I saw. Yes, and that's the one I saw. And that big whatever it is is the third monster. Hmm, I'm not so sure there were three monsters. Let me try something. <laughs> It's a crocodile. It's a saltwater crocodile. The world's largest crocodile. It's as big as a bus. And it's a long way from home. Saltwater crocodiles normally live in places like Australia. That's over a thousand miles away. Hmm. It's not unusual for saltwater crocodiles to travel far out to sea looking for food. But I've never heard of one spotted in the Antarctic Ocean. Oh no, he must be lost and freezing. Saltwater crocodiles are reptiles. They stay healthy by moving to different places when they need to warm up or cool down. If they get too hot, they move to a cooler place. And if they get too cold, they move to a warmer place. But here in the Antarctic, there's no place he can go to warm up. He won't be able to survive this extreme cold for long. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. 
If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That crop could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And he might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. <laughs> After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octa hatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir. Stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain, it's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashi, activate steering wheel. Doing peso. He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> he just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, peso. Saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <laughs> oh, uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. If the croc is thrashing because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopod temperature, cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> the cooling plan is working, Captain. The croc is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Big warm, warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc wake up naturally. This is a nice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The croc's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the guts to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, 
What's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, easy. We're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please, let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost and freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah, I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. Guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salty. Well, Salty, you have a bruise on your snout. May I bandage it for you? Yeah, go on. And no chomping, please. No chomping. <laughs> there. Thanks for all your help, fellas. We all need a helping paw now and then, Salty. Even crocs and pirates. Whew. That sun sure is getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Taya. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you, but uh, you know I'm awful hungry all of a sudden. Uh, you should probably leave now, mates. You don't have to tell us twice. Goodbye. Octonauts, Tweak has invited us all here today to show us her latest top secret invention. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Cap. <laughs> Avast! What are you putting on my ship? Don't get your tail twisted, Quasi. This here is going to keep the gubs from getting banged up all the time. Mm -hmm. Huh? They'll never crash again. Never? <laughs> but uh, even the best pilots can make mistakes sometimes. That's right. But when I use my remote control to turn on these boxes, the gups can drive themselves. I call it the Smart Duck Remote Control. Yes. It's an amazing invention, Tweak. I never thought a gup could drive like that without a good pilot behind the wheel. Ah, uh, no remote control can pilot the gup B as well as I can. With the smart gub remote control, anybody can be a great pilot. Here, Shellington, <gasps> give it a whirl. Um, but, uh, well, no, I, I've never been the best driver. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, look, they're going to hit the octopod. Oh, oh. Shiver, whiskers! Don't worry. <laughs> With the smart gut remote control, the gubs are totally crash proof. They stop by themselves before they crash into anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tweak, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Without the remote, I can't control the gups. Five runaway gups. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the octopod. Octonauts, we need to catch these runaway gups. The gups went that way, towards that underwater canyon. Tweak, how soon can you have the remote fixed? Faster than you can say. 
Uh, six to eight weeks? I have to order some new parts, so it's going to be a while. Hmm. Then we'll just have to swim out there and round up the gups ourselves. Swim? Even I can't swim that fast. Tweak, are there any other vehicles that we could use? Well, there is one. The Gup F. The Gup F? So slow! Oh, the Gup F isn't so bad, Quasi. Keep pedaling. I think we're really starting to pick up some speed. Speed? Just wait till I'm back in the gut B. I'll show you speed. There they are. Pedal. <laughs> we'll never catch up to them in this thing, Captain. Whoa! What was that? Quasi, let's not get distracted. We're coming up fast behind you. You'd better move along. Who do these speedy show-offs think they are? We're sailfish. Pacific sailfish, the fastest fish in the ocean. They have to be fast. The herd sardines like that. Watch. Look how they work together to get them all in a tight group. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Or are they changing colours? They seem to change colours when they get really excited. Check out the old shipwreck. I wonder how fast that baby can go. Yeah, probably about as fast as a sleeping sea snail. Oi, who are you calling a sleeping sea snail? Get back here. Hold on, Quasi. They might be able to help us. Help us? The only other thing I've seen move as fast as they do is the Gop B. Hello, a sailfish. We were wondering if you could help us find our missing ships. Sorry, fellas, but we're in a hurry. We're following the sardines up the coast. Ah, oh, forget about these slow coaches, Captain. Uh, slow coaches? I just don't think they're fast enough to help us. I suppose you're right, Quasi. They probably couldn't keep up with the guts anyway. Good one, Captain. Now they want to prove how fast they are. Couldn't keep up. You've got to be kidding. We're the fastest things in the whole ocean. We'll find those ships. Grab under those sails, guys. Let's go. Fast enough for you back there. <laughs> Hi, matey. Ha, I like this guy. There they are, straight ahead. Follow those gups. We'd better split up and herd them into a tighter group. Excellent job. Now aim for the smart gup boxes. It worked! All right, matey. Now! Got it! Phew! These things are quicker than they look. If we don't stop it now, we might never see it again. Not on my watch. <laughs> Just a little further, Quasi. We'll stop him up ahead. Stop him? How are you going to...
nice driving back there. Thanks. How come the cop didn't crash right into you? Ah, Tweak made them totally crash-proof. It worked like a charm. This little thing's pretty fast. And these guys are pretty good pilots. Maybe we can have a real race someday. Ha <laughs> ha! Any time, mateys! Thanks for your help, Sailfish. So long, guys! <sighs> I've missed you, old friend. Oh, no. Hmm. The smart gup boxes must have drained the gup's batteries. We'll need to replace them when we get home. So how are we supposed to get home? Hmm. Keep pedalling, Quasi. We'll be home in no time. Oh. We should have got those sailfish to give us a lift home. <laughs> Quasi, Peso, have you had any luck finding seaweed samples for Shellington? Hi, Captain. I'd say we've got every colour of seaweed there is. I can't wait to study each one under the microscope. We'll be there with your seaweed just as fast as we can, matey. See you back at the octopod. Barnacle's out. What do you say we go a wee bit faster to get home? Maybe a little faster would be OK. Oh, <laughs> He's stuck. I can't slow her down or make her stop. Rocks. Yow! Yeah! Huh? I'm... I'm OK. Are you? Aye, but our radio isn't. And the octopod is too far away for us to call them on our helmet radios. Well, matey. The first thing to do is get out and take a look at the gut. Ah, there's a bunch of seaweed stuck in the propeller. I'll pull it out. Let me help. <laughs> Got it! I'll go down and grab the gup finder off the gup. We'll use it to let Captain Barnacles know where we are. So he'll be able to come and save us. Good idea. Is everything OK down there? <sighs> ah, got it! Yes! Yow! Give that back, you scurvy dog! Fish! Stop! That's our gup finder! <sighs> now what? Now, we find land. <gasps> land! Come on! Quasi and Peso should be back by now. I'm on it, Captain. Octopod to Quasi and Peso. Their radio's not working, Captain. Activate the gup finder. It'll show us where they are. Hmm. The gup finder shows that they're heading away from the octopod. But they said they'd come home right away. Something's wrong. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Peso's radio is broken, and the gup finder is showing that they're heading away from the octopod. Oh, my! They could be lost or in trouble. Professor, I'm going after them. The guppy is ready to go, Cap. Tweak, open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. I wonder if there's anyone on this island who can help us. Doesn't look like it. Visitors! <laughs> hey! 
<laughs> Hello and welcome. Huh? <clears throat> Down here, my friends. Down here. Welcome to the island where the breeze is cool, the sand is warm, and the fish can walk. Well spotted, my friend. Most fish can't walk on land, but I'm not most fish. I'm a comb tooth Blenny. You can call me Blenny for short. Ha <laughs> ha! Who are you? We're the Octonauts. I'm Peso. And I'm Quasi. We need to get back home to the Octopod as soon as possible. Too bad you can't stay for a while. I was just getting warmed up. See you around. It could take Captain Barnacles a while to find us here. If he could find us at all. Don't worry me, hearty. I learned how to get off a desert island back in me pirate days. All we have to do is build a raft and sail away. Let's do it. I've almost caught up with them. Where's the gup E? Huh? What's that dogfish got? You've got the gup finder. But that means Quasi and Peso could be anywhere. Time to set sail. Leaving already? Well, till we meet again. Goodbye, me hottie. Nice to meet you. Heave ho, matey. <laughs> 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 Sinking. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> ah, our raft is gone. This is a disaster. Don't worry, Peso. I'll think of something else. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we could send a message for help. That's impossible, me hearty. We've got no radio, no gut finder, nothing. We just need a messenger. We can't get off the island, but we can send a message with someone who can. Huh? Blenny! Would you deliver a message to Captain Barnacles on the Octopod and tell them where we are, please? I'd love to, but Blennies like me don't go in deep water. We have to stay in the shallow water around the island, you know? But what if you swim out just far enough to pass the message along to someone else? Hey, that's a great idea. Consider it done, my friends. See, I told you I'd think of something. <sighs> well, this is about as deep as I can go. Oh, hey, excuse me, Bluefish. Spare a minute. Oh, hello. Hi, I need to get a message to the deep. Tell Captain Barnacles that there are two octonauts named Quasi and Peso, and they're stuck on a desert island. I can't swim too deep, but I can pass along the word to some folks who can. Thanks! You're a pal! Well, hello there, Giant Squid. Can I ask you a favour, please? I need to pass on a message. Tell Captain Barnacles, two Octobots named Crazy and Pesto are stuck in the desert. Need some help. All right, I'll tell me friends. Oh, do got any news? Aye, Anglerfish. Tell Captain Farnacles that some octagons named Lazy and Ernesto are stuck in some dessert. Go as deep as you can and pass it on. Oh, right. Will do. to napkin carbuncles about some octagons named Hay and Presto. They've deserted or they're stuck or something like that anyway. Pass it on. Octagons? Stuck? Maybe he meant octonauts. Wait, uh, can you lead me to these octagons? I mean, octonauts? Afraid not, but I can put you in touch with the giant squid what told me about it. Then lead the way. <laughs>
sun is setting. Aye, matey. And it looks like we might have to spend the night here. Or maybe not, my friends. Look! We're Come over on, here! Matey. We're over here! Well, I'm looking for a couple of octagons named Hay and Presto. Huh? So the message got a little messed up, but it worked! <laughs> We're going home! Thank you, Blenny. No problem. Remember, you can count on me to help you out on land or sea. Just drop me a fishing line, call me on my shell phone, or sea mail me! <laughs>I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are, the coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso. Let's go. Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There, that's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now. Everybody got it? Got, got it. it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh! Spiky sea urchin! <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? Hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me, whiskers! <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. 
What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah. I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. Yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashie. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tag, you're it! <laughs> oh, my! There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers! <laughs> You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They What's this? They love to play with each other and make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Sponge nose, sponge nose. <laughs> <laughs> There. Oh. Ah. Oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins. We have very important work to do. If you could please just play. <laughs> Bet you can't catch me. Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Ah. Oh. Whoa. Um, easy now. I just want to... Um... See how long you can hold on. <laughs> Look out! Whale shark straight ahead! <laughs> nice catch! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but, um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece! Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one! Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go! Ready, everybody? Ready! Ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Find the coral, put it in the hole. I reckon I can find five pieces of coral before you find one. You're on, Maisie! Hmm. 
another healthy one. Thank you. That's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There. We're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 